Hi, I'm Berlin from Alchemy Food Tech. Hi, I'm Sandhya from Shiok Meats. And this is Founders Face to Face. Sanya, why did you decide to become an entrepreneur? Honestly, I never thought I'd be an entrepreneur. Like, it's kind of a dream that I never had, but it came true. So always was a scientist, thought about science, was a researcher for a very long time. But I think what sparked the entrepreneurship interest was trying to make something good to make the world feel better. What about you? I don't think I really thought about like, you know, really becoming an entrepreneur as well. Me and Ellen just took part in the competition and we won and then, you know, we just took it off from there. It wasn't like I set my life goal to be an entrepreneur, but I think it's just the crazy ideas that drive us to want to set up something on our own, want to change the world. What problem is your startup trying to solve? So Alchemy Food Tech, um, we are a food tech startup that looks into diabetes and other chronic diseases and we're trying to solve these chronic diseases using food innovation. We want to make food healthier for people and yet make the solution very sustainable, like in a sense that you can eat to preserve health and not harm you in the process. Yeah, yeah. and what about you? So at Chiyok Meats, we are a cell-based seafood startup. So we use stem cells and cells to grow shrimp, crab and lobster meat. We want to make aquaculture or access to seafood sustainable. So instead of growing a full animal and then killing it to eat the meat, what we do is just take the stem cells, grow it into the part of the meat that we want. So no shell, no head, no eyes, no legs, just the meat. And it tastes the same, feels the same, and has the same nutrition as well. Why do you think there is a need to address sustainability in foods? I think the food system today is unfortunately quite broken. There is a lot of unsustainable ways of producing food because of processing, it actually diminishes a lot of the nutrients of the food. So we want to look at how we can use food tech to yeah. bring that back. The whole looming number of 10 billion population in the next 20 to 30 years is kind of alarming. And more than 30% of the world is already malnourished. It's very funny because when people say malnourished, yeah. they will think of people who are, you know, like um, poor and like have not enough food to eat. Now, studies have shown that the most developed countries have the most malnourished people because of all the fast food and the junk food that we're eating. It's not nutritious, so there's a huge need for protein in the future. So I think that's the push towards thinking about sustainability in food is honestly how are we going to sustain the food supply that's required or the food demand that's required. Yeah, and also like the like to even out the distribution yeah, of food as exactly. well. exactly. So what's the hardest challenge that you face and how do you overcome them? Where should I start? <laughs> <laughs> so I think for me, it's trying to balance a family and a work life, honestly. Yeah, and you have a kid, right? And I have a son, so I'm trying to set aside days that I'm not answering messages or calls. And I'm going to spend it with my son. It's getting a little hard, but I just have to find out how to balance like, it. Like, the mental stress is probably one of the toughest things about being an entrepreneur. Really, like, the steepness nights because you're just up thinking about your startup, yeah. like, all the time. There are times where you will be just overwhelmed with work. Yeah. You kind of, like, need to step back and tell yourself that it's time for you to de-stress, to calm down, to go out and get some fresh air, which yeah. sometimes we forget as well. Yeah. <laughs> what is one thing about the industry that many people don't know about? People have not really realised that a food tech industry has so much tech in it. Right. So it's I think there's still cooking. Yeah, per se, correct. Right? I still feel that there's this misconception that food tech is a lot about culinary science. Right. But what we're doing is a lot of biochemistry, right. <laughs> a lot of biotechnology, and people don't understand that. I know Alchemy won the Switch uh, Slingshot competition in 2018. How was your experience and what came out of it like? It really opened up a lot of opportunities for us. Like, it was much easier to speak to investors. Yeah. It was much easier to share with people what we're doing. And you took part in 2019, right? Yeah, so we were one of the finalists and it was like, great, because people reached out to us after that and they're like, oh, are you looking for investments? Are you looking to commercialize? I think it's a great platform to like just talk about your company. What upcoming plans are you most excited about? We are launching more products yeah. and we have more partnerships with restaurants, food manufacturers and even hospitals now, yeah. so I think that's really, really exciting. For us, the most forward-looking or the most exciting opportunity is getting the product at least in one restaurant mm -hmm. in the next two years, you know, and seeing that vision of shrimp, shiok shrimp on somebody's plate in a restaurant and they're actually enjoying the dish. And I can't wait for the sushi with the alchemy rice mm -hmm. and the shiok shrimp. So. Yes, it's going to be so exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think this was fun. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, thanks for listening to us. Thank you.